Hey everybody, this is Monte Cristo. I'm here in the first time in a long time on my YouTube channel to discuss some of the implications of tiebreakers tomorrow in play-ins here at Worlds 2022. But before, I was going to make an announcement here a little bit later on this YouTube channel, but I am doing watch parties through the entirety of Worlds. If you guys are following me on YouTube, follow my Twitch at twitch.tv Monte Cristo. I've got a great setup. We'll have guests on the couch there with me uh, throughout Worlds, as well as call-in guests. Should be a really fun time. So go ahead and watch my live stream for the next month, and it'll be great. Uh, now let's talk about the play-ins implications. And the reason why I'm making this video is because it's very complicated, and there hasn't been any accurate information. Now, I have to interpret the rules myself, but as far as I can tell from sitting down, thinking about the rules, talking to some other people, thinking about the various implications, this is the correct interpretation of what could happen in a five-way tie uh, when we look at the groups tomorrow. So indulge me, if you will, with some MS Paint uh, drawings that I created. First up, let's go ahead and actually read the text of the rule. So, five-way tie. If five teams are tied at the end of the play-in stage, the teams will be seeded by total game victory time. The team with the lowest total game victory time will be awarded the highest seed within the tie. The remaining four teams will advance to a best-of-one single elimination bracket seeded by total game victory time, i.e. fastest team will play against slowest team, there will be no third place match completed as per rule 6.2.52, which is a rule for a uh, two-way uh, two tie, I, I believe. But basically what you need to, uh, need to know is that there is not going to be a third place match, uh, which is important because that is going to have huge effects if the tie ends up happening and it's through the first through the five seed. So... What this means is that the five teams are going to be ranked by average game time. Um, not a great metric, but League of Legends doesn't have round differentials like Counter-Strike or some other uh, tiebreakers that exist in other genres of games. And there hasn't been an advanced metric made to take into account maybe a variety of different game states, such as some combination of gold differential, gold per minute, uh, experience differential alongside game time. It's really hard in League to do this, so... Personally, I would just avoid uh, designing formats where these tiebreakers could come into effect because they get really, really nasty uh, without an ability to compare games on a one-to-one -one basis. But I didn't design this format, uh, so we have, to, we have to work with what we've been given. So the tiebreaker scenario, for those of you who have been watching, is going to be these three games tomorrow. If Beyond beats Fnatic, if Loud beats Chiefs, and if Death Nation Focus Me beats EG, all of these three outcomes have to happen, which is unlikely, but it's not super unlikely, uh, given the way this group has uh, has been very competitive overall. Then as we can see here, I adjusted their records, and it is, uh, I, I put them all to 3-2 to give you a sense of what was going on. Now, I have created a hypothetical uh, down here. I do not know the average game times of these teams, but I have created a hypothetical where EG has the lowest average game time, Fnatic second, Beyond third, loud fourth, and detonation focus me with the longest game time, right? So this is a theoretical option for how they could be seated. Now, according to the rules, the team with the lowest total game victory time will be awarded the highest seed within the tie. Now, that highest seed is the first seed. So that means that EG would just automatically advance in this hypothetical scenario to the group stage of Worlds. Uh, because remember, in the play-ins format, the top team in every group doesn't have to play in the best of fives that occur uh, over the next few days. Now, to me, I think it's pretty outrageous that a team would just automatically escape this group in a five-way tie because of average game time. So that's pretty dodgy uh, in and of itself. If I was designing this... I would have probably put this team at the end of a gauntlet, or I would have seeded them uh, at the end of the four-team single elimination bracket to play the winner of the single elimination bracket, so at least they would have had to play a game to advance out of the tie and into the group stage. Now, this is where the language gets interesting, 
And you really have to, <laughs> you have to change your frame of reference. So what this means is that Fnatic, they are now competing, not for the first seed, because EG already got that, but for seeds two through five, right? Um, and that means Fnatic, with the second lowest game time in my example, would play Detonation Focus Me, and Beyond would play Loud, right? So this is the bracket you see here. So I have created a theoretical bracket. Now, in my theoretical bracket, Fnatic wins, which means they would take the second seed, which means that they would only have to play one best of series uh, in order to make it through into the group stage of world. Um, the other team, which would be the second place team, so remember, we're talking about first place team, not in the overall groups, but first place team in this bracket is Fnatic. The second place team is Loud Gaming, uh, and they would take the third seed here in this group. But here's the fundamental conundrum. It specifically says there will be no third place match completed. And third place match completed doesn't refer to who is third versus who is fourth in the group stage. It refers to who is third or fourth in the best of one four team single elimination bracket. And why this matters, guys, <laughs> why this matters is because the fourth place team will play the third place team in a best of series, and the fifth place team is just straight eliminated from play ins. So if Detonation Focus Me and Beyond Lose, like in my example, we don't know who is the third seed and who is the fourth seed, which corresponds to who is the fourth seed and who is the fifth seed, i.e. who gets to continue to play for a chance to make it to groups, and who is eliminated just outright. So I can only assume that since there is no third place match completed, of the losing teams, the team with the longest average game score, because that's remember, that's what determined whether EG was first or not, the team with the the team that is slower is eliminated immediately. And the team that is faster gets to play in the best of series of play-ins. Now that is crazy to me. Um I is, if, if I was in charge of this situation, I would play that game. I would say, fuck the rules, play the third place game. This is ridiculous. It seems to me that this five-way tie scenario was designed for a five-way tie between the second through sixth seeds, in which case you would not have to play the third place match of the mini bracket because it would be the fifth and the sixth teams in the group and both of them are eliminated. But they didn't take into account the case of the first through fifth teams um, all playing in the, in the five-way tie. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's, that's kind of the scenario we're dealing with right now. I, I hope that was enlightening for you guys. It is really complicated. I would change these rules on the fly if I was Riot because I think there are two fundamental problems which is that you don't want a team just making it to groups because they had the fastest average game time. That's problematic. Um, and you don't want a team eliminated automatically because they had the slowest game time of the two teams that lost in the semifinals of the mini bracket. So I would play the, the loser's match game, basically make it a double elimination bracket, and the winner of that takes the fourth seed in the group, the loser takes the fifth seed. And then of the second, the winner of the second and third seeds, I think should play the first seed, in this case, EG. So uh, in my example, if we go back to it, um, Fnatic would play EG for the spot going through to the group stage. Um, that is, I think, the best option. Um, it's not what the rules say, but I think it's in the best spirit of the competition. And I think if all teams agree to that, which they should, because I think most of the teams would at least like a chance to, you know, play and perform for their seeds. I don't know why you wouldn't necessarily, uh, especially if you all agree on it before you play your games tomorrow. So nobody actually knows who's going to have the fastest or slowest average game times because they all have one more game left to play. If the teams all agree to that, um, then I think that's going that would be the fairest solution. 
Now, the problem with that is it creates five additional games of tiebreakers, which is like a lot of tiebreakers, right? You have to play the two semifinals, the finals, the loser's bracket game, and the game versus the first seed. So it extends the broadcast by a pretty significant amount, but I don't know a, a better, more way, fair way to solve this problem. Uh, so that's it, guys. Remember, go check out my channel on Twitch. I'll link it below, twitch.tv slash Monte Cristo. Very easy. Join me for some of these games. And you too could have been there tonight when I figured this out on my stream, uh, talking to some people in chat and uh, calling guests. So hopefully I'll see you there for the rest of Worlds. If not, this is something to ponder over in terms of Riot formats.